Put your hands together and welcome back your host for this evening, Ollie and Jen. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. And you've all got your drinks from the bar. Is everybody enjoying the evening so far? That's better, that's nice to hear. Now, you two lucky people, you've had your day, you've had your 15 minutes, you've had your free drinks. Did you not get a free drink? Gutted. <laughs> so, you've had your 15 minutes. How's it been for you so far? Yeah, it's been all right. Have you, have you, have you got to know each other? Yeah, we have. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we should go with initial reactions. What was both of your first um, reaction when, when the... When the um, blind came yeah. back, what did you think of each other? I was glad it wasn't Tom. <laughs> um, yeah, I recognise the familiar face. Okay. So you've seen this girl before, from, yeah. from where? Around. Around, yeah, okay. Around. <laughs> you get around a lot, okay. So in the 15 minutes you've been sat here, what kind of intimate, you know, soul digging questions did you ask? Um, what course do you do? Actually, <laughs> anything else? Um, no, that's about it really. That's it? Yeah. That was really it, you, you used your 15 minutes to ask that? Time to ask one question. Okay. Give him a round of applause, guys. <laughs> Woo! This is Radio Sonar Does Blind Day broadcasting live from the top of the SU bar. If we could please take away the Love Lounge. <laughs> now, guys, are you ready for round two of Radio Sonar Does Blind Date? <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Well, here's Graham to introduce our three lovely ladies. <laughs> Contestant number one tonight, she's a journalism student, she's 19, she's from Farnborough, it's Christy! And there's a potential for it to be quite awkward, her best friend is contestant number two, she's 19, she's from Milton Keynes, it's Katie! Look at that strut! Finally, contestant number three is Danny Beef, and she's 20 and she's from London. That's our three contestants, guys. Woo! That's better, that's better. Bit of audience participation, please. Now, Jen, we've got three lovely ladies, but I think we're missing something. We are. There's one person that we're missing. Who's that? Well, first of all, it'd be the blind. <laughs> I'll seal them in, shall I? <laughs> seal them in. And then if we could have our first, well, second guy contestant, please. It's contestant number two. <laughs> Woo! I think there's a bit of a lads on tour thing going on here. You've got your support there? No, your support? They're not support. Really? <laughs> Could be a bad thing. Okay, so first of all, what's your name and where'd you come from? I'm Joe and I'm from Devon. Yeah! Hey, I'm Ryan. That's good, that's, that's not far from me actually, but um, yeah, no, that wasn't. No, definitely not. Okay. Jen's going home tonight. Have you been single for very long? Um, yeah. <laughs> you want to elaborate? About two years. So you've had girlfriends though? I did, yeah. Don't go into this. Come on. <laughs> what have we got? Okay, what are you hoping to get out of tonight? Um, I'd like to find a very nice lady to introduce to my mum. Oh, cool. So love. Long term, you're thinking? Long term, definitely. Very smart answer. Very sweet. Okay, well, best of luck. If you're ready with your first question. Okay. Um, I'm a journalism student as well. I heard number one and was as well. Um, I want to be a journalist. How would you make my front page? And which contestant is that aimed at? Three. Contestant number three, what's your answer to that question? That's you at the end. You right there. No, you're number three. Oh. <laughs> um, Did you even hear the question? Do you want him to repeat it? I know the question, I'm thinking of an answer. I've got half an answer. Um, Quite rob a, a bank, question. Robbed a bank without being caught. There you go, like that, that's fantastic. <laughs> Failure! Um, oh, we've got a cocky oh. one on this side. No, my question was a bit of a take me out moment there. Okay. Do you want to aim at another contestant? Uh, yeah, number one, please. 
And uh, Danny drinks so many tequila suicides and survives and also breaks the world record. Good answer, yeah. Nice. Contestant number two? Yeah, please. Um, mine would probably be Vitz Tit because I'm a model, so I'll probably be on the front page for taking my top off. That's the best answer. Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> Did I hear winner? <laughs> well, what are you making of those answers so far? Is there a particular lady that you might be thinking of? Or? Yeah, number one seems lovely. Cool, okay, you ready with your second question? Uh, yes. I like going out, like we're all here tonight, having a few cheeky drinks. If you were an alcoholic drink, what would you be and why? Contestant number? Uh, two. Um, I would be absinthe because when you see me, you'll think you're hallucinating. Ooh. 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 Very, good. Very interesting. Okay, um, next contestant? Number one, please. I'd be a crypt tonight because I'd make every girl green with envy being with you. <laughs> Let's get a round of applause for that answer. Come on, that was well thought out. And final contestant? Uh, three. Um, Skittle bomb because I'm fruity and you see all different sides of me. Ooh. Lots so of well thought out answers here tonight, Jen. Good. Yeah, good answers. So um, that was question two. Yeah. Uh, where is he? There he is, Rich! I'm over here. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, so I was still in the back of the audience. I hear you got some dirt on our mate Joe. Yeah, we've, uh, we've got a little bit of dirt. In the, in the back of an audience. He's already on his, uh, his self-destructive path already with the answer to number one. But, <laughs> but we can go even further than that because we've got all of Joe's friends here. And what we're doing is we're playing a little game. No, we're not. And it's called uh, Quick Fire Embarrassing Facts About Joe. <laughs> And what we're going to do is, we're going to start with Dan over here and we're going to go all the way down to the other Dan. So Dan, please start us off with your quick fire fact about Joe. We go, go really quick, really quick. I don't mean to worry anyone, but he's definitely conversating with something. His mum dyes his hair for him. Is that true? She definitely did, yeah. <laughs> he's got a very small penis. <laughs> that was the best one so far. It was a piss, really. <laughs> Some say when you go down on Joe, you can smell Stilton. <laughs> a mature oh. smell, if you will. <laughs> this one's actually true. He has a bright pink nipple piercing, and I suggest you ask to see it. It's very oh. nice. Yeah. Do we want to see the nipple piercing? No! Yes, I think we should see I the nipple piercing. I said, do we want to see the nipple piercing? Oh. That's... <laughs> is absolutely disgusting. I thought that was a little bit unfair on Joe as well, you know, bringing that. By the way, those are all facts. I've smelled the Stilton before. <laughs> all facts. Yes. Um, so I thought, you know, we'd even it up a little bit. And I understand these guys here are friends of one of the girls. Is it two of the girls? One, one of the girls. Which, uh, which number are you friends with? Contestant number three. Contestant number three. Right, OK. So to even the scores a little bit, can you give me a embarrassing fact about contestant number three? Um, not really, but once she's in Rhino, she's got very drunk and she couldn't stand up, so she gets sliding up and down like a pole, and then had got kicked out about 12 o'clock. Yeah, that's fair. But no, yeah, I think, I think, in fairness, that is absolutely fine. So <laughs> that is that is fine. You know, you learned a small amount about Joe, and that says it all, really. Is that so what you got from the uh, audience, Rich? That's it. That's perfect. Lovely. That's okay. Yeah. Thanks to Rich, everybody. Let's get on to our third and final question. Jennifer, take it away, please. All right. Are you ready? Yeah, I don't want to do this question now. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Here we go. This is almost as embarrassing as what they say. My guilty pleasure is watching wrestling, right? If we were a tag team, what would you bring to our tag team? Very good. Good Thank question. You. Well worded. And which contestant are you asking the question? Uh, two, please. I used to dance and I used to figure skate, so I have amazing stamina and I'm awfully flexible. <laughs> Honest answer. Yeah, something to think about. Um, contestant number one? Yeah, one would be. I'd be strong and hard, because I'm from Essex. You go hard or you go home in a drinking sense, obviously. Nice. Oh. Go hard or go home from number uh, contestant number one? And number three, can we have your answer? Nails, because my nails are pretty strong and I've left scars before. <laughs> Again, good answer. Bit of bondage on the floor there. Okay. <laughs> so, we've heard all three, all three questions for Joe here. Have you made your mind up yet, Joe? Uh, no. Not yet. Okay. Okay. We're going to give you a minute to think about it anyway with Graham's recap. Yeah.
She's 19, she's from Farber, she's a journalism student, but can you write a romantic ending to her story? It's Christy! She's Christy's best friend, she's also 19, she's a model, but would you pay to see her? It's Katie! And she's 20, she's from London, and she's a snorer at night, so can you give her something to suck on to stop the snoring? It's Daddy B! Thank you very much for that recap, Graham. Now, Joe, me and Jen kind of want an answer from you, mate. Um, I've got like, a thought process in my head. Okay. Am I meant to be talking to the mic? No. Cool. Yeah. Um, I heard something about number three backstage, right? And as of the bro code, so I can't go for number three. Can we, can we hear who you're not going for? Hey. And it counts us down who you're not going for. Three, not going for. Uh, Two sounds awfully familiar to me, so I'm not going to go for her either. I'm pretty sure I know who she is. Are you going to go for? Do we have a winner? Number one. Please. Number one, everybody! So, you chose number one, but we're going to have to see who you said goodbye to. Contestant number three, please. This way. Round this way, please. We're going to get a lovely kiss from Joe. Here's what you could have won. Got it. <laughs> and contestant number two. Here's what you could have won, son. Oh, there we go. And now, contestant number one, Joe, you chose Danny from Essex! How sweet with the rose! How sweet is that? How awkward! First, first sight, like, guys, what, is, what are you two thinking of? Do you see each other? Um, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Excellent, okay, we're gonna bring on the Love Lounge, guys. Another 15 minutes, bar's gonna be open. Skittles are at the bar. Uh, see you in 15 minutes. Radio Sonar does blind day. Radio Sonar.